In this video, I show you 13 everyday things that you've probably always done wrong. You'll be surprised how these small changes can simplify your life. Number four and nine really amazed me. Let's start with number one. I'm sure you're familiar with the situation where you've picked up food somewhere and it's packed in bags like this. There's usually a knot in them so that the whole thing holds really well. The only problem is that you usually can't just open these bags and therefore tear them. This is particularly annoying as you can usually reuse these bags to dispose of the rubbish inside. However, there is a trick that allows you to open the bags really quickly and easily without having to fiddle with them forever. Take both tabs of the nut and twist them together really nicely. They should be really tight at the end and no longer so soft because then you can do the following with them. Now go to the end of the nut and press these two parts into the nut. As you can see, this is a really quick and easy way to untie the nut. All you have to do is open it and you can get to the bag without having to break it. Number two is a really quick tip. You know that hole on pans and pots with handles? You shouldn't just hang the pan up here. You can also use it to wedge the wooden spoon in. As you can see it has a really good grip, doesn't fall out and the end hangs over the pan. So anything that drips down here drips directly into the pan and you don't get anything dirty. If you use new cream packaging, it is still sealed after you have twisted off the lid. How do you open this seal? Do you always use scissors or a sharp object that you can use to prise open the seal such as a knife? You don't actually have to because the cream itself already has a function to open the lid. If you look inside the plastic lid of the cream you will see that there is a tip inside. And this is always perfect for loosening the seal. Simply turn the lid over and press it onto the cream once. The tip will now pierce the piece of aluminum foil and open the cream. This gives you access to the contents without the need for an extra tool. The tap on a drinks can like this naturally has the function of allowing you to open the can. But it also has another function that hardly anyone knows about. The first step is to open the can. Then you can turn this tap 180 degrees so that this small hole is above the large opening. Because that's exactly the trick we want to achieve here. Because if you just stick a straw like this into the can that also contains carbon dioxide, the straw will keep coming up over time and eventually fall out. Thanks to this tap, this no longer happens. You can either push the straw through and, if it is a little too thin, pinch it a little at the side or if it's thick enough, you just have to push the straw through and it will be held in your tin by this little tap. You can also ensure that fewer insects get into your tin as the opening is now much smaller. Did you know that most people open bananas completely the wrong way? Of course you shouldn't use a knife or a peeler to do this. You have to use your hands to open a banana, but most people open them at the top of the steam, bend the whole thing over and peel off the skin. Of course this also works, but it's usually not that easy and you end up squashing the banana a little. You should actually open a banana on the other side. Because this side is much softer and you can open it more easily by simply squeezing it. If you look down here at this brown tip, simply take your thumb and forefinger, squeeze it briefly and then you can already see that there is a small slit here. Now grasp the two different sides and pull them apart. And now you have opened the banana without crushing it. There is also an ingenious trick with this type of foil packaging that has been integrated by the manufacturers but which very few people know about because if you usually open this type of foil packaging and want to use the tin foil you will certainly be familiar with this problem. You pull on the film and the whole roll always comes towards you and falls out of the packaging. That's pretty annoying but with the integrated function this will never happen to you again and you will never have to worry about it again. Take a look at the side of the film packaging. Here you will find little tabs that say press here. Incidentally, this also applies to all film packaging, whether clinch film or aluminium foil. You should now leave the roll in the packaging and press in these two places on the side. This will also push in a small piece of the packaging and secure the roll in the packaging. The next time you use it, it will no longer fall out as it is fixed in place. So you'll never have to worry about pulling the whole thing out again. And this ingenious trick will change the way you pour milk forever. At least if it's in a tetra pack. Because normally you just open it and then pour the milk into your glass or mug. It happens from time to time that the milk spills because air has to get into the packaging somehow so that the more milk can escape. 
However, as all the milk has already run out, no air can get in. That's why you should simply turn the packaging over, because now the air side is up here and air can easily flow in while the milk flows out. It no longer wobbles back and forth and you no longer tip over with the milk. It's much easier that way. Do you also know the secret function of these champagne bottles? Because if they have a plastic cork, you can do something really ingenious with them. Open the bottle as you normally would and remove the cork so that you can get to the inside of the bottle. But don't throw this cork away under any circumstances. Instead you should do the following with it. Cut off the bottom part of the cork as it will be hollow on the inside. This makes it a little easier to push it back into the bottle. You can now remove the red cap, pour in some of the sparkling wine and then put the red cap back on. This allows you to store the sparkling wine in the fridge for much longer as it is completely sealed by the cork. And this is actually integrated into these bottles but hardly anyone knows about this function. Have you ever wondered why such a pasta spoon has a hole in the center? It actually has an ingenious function that very few people know about. Of course it is also good for when you want to take some pasta out of the pot so that the water drains away. But it actually has a completely different function because the amount of spaghetti that fits through this hole when uncooked is exactly one portion. So you can correctly measure how much spaghetti you need depending on how many people want to eat with you. So if the number of people eating with you changes from time to time you will still get the perfect amount of spaghetti. And even if it's hard to believe, there's also something you can do wrong with a sip. Or rather, it has a function that hardly anyone knows about, but which can really help. Because you're probably familiar with the situation where you have your sip closed as normal and are walking around. Suddenly someone tells you that your fly is unzipped. It has simply opened by itself. This can happen, especially if the zip is a bit old. Maybe you have a pair of trousers that this happens to all the time. But you don't want to throw them in a bin. But you can't actually wear them anymore. Then you should do the following. After you have closed the zip you should make sure that it is not facing upwards as it is here. But downwards. Because if it is pointing downwards then it is closed. You won't be able to open the zip yourself so it can't open on its own. You can only get it open again if you pull the zip upwards yourself or let it point forwards. Always make sure that the zip is facing downwards so that it cannot open on its own. Once you've seen this, you'll never use your pots the same way again. Because if you're cooking something and have a lid on it, what do you do with the lid when you need to stir? You probably put it on one side somber. The only problem is that it's wet and maybe even dirty. And you usually end up making your kitchen a bit dirty. You can't turn it over so easily either, otherwise you'll probably burn yourself. But you can clamp the lid to the side of almost any part as you can see here. Simply clamp it around the handle and the edge of the part. It holds there perfectly. You have it in place and no longer have to worry about it putting it somewhere where it won't get dirty. These spice jars also have a secret function that hardly anyone knows about. Because when you use spice jars you will probably just open them, turn them upside down and shake them back and forth to flavor your food. But this usually doesn't work quite as well for dosing. There is a much better function. Take a look at the base of these spice jars because they are ribbed and this actually has a function. If you rub two spice jars on top of each other the vibration will release the same amount of spice. This allows you to dose it much better. Why don't you give it a try? The next mistake is really nobody's fault because we are always shown the wrong way in AdWords. When you put toothpaste on your toothbrush do you do it along the entire length of the toothbrush? That means from front to back everything is full of toothpaste. That's actually wrong. It's only ever shown in AdWords because the toothpaste manufacturers naturally want to use as much toothpaste as possible to clean your teeth properly. However a pea sized amount is enough. A small depth that's all it should be. And you can brush your teeth perfectly with it. Would you also like to know which white powder you should always tip into your bin? Then be sure to watch the video linked to you here.